Hello, my name is Isaac Berzin. Last year, the Time magazine named me one of the 100 most influential people in the world. Why? This is what I would like to tell you. It's a very promising technology. It could change people's life. Not tomorrow, today. The global population boom has increased exploitation of the world's food, water and energy resources. Almost every day, a new coal-fired power plant is built in China or India. CO2 emissions are increasing and public concern about global warming is growing rapidly. Power generation facilities will soon have to either pay a fine or find alternative solutions for CO2 mitigation. There is an alternative solution for CO2 mitigation, a natural one, with a track record dating billions of years. And here it is, algae, a green solution. Algae are extremely acute. They wiggle their mustache and swim around and belly dance for you. So when you look through the microscope, you see how wonderful they really are. Algae are one of the fastest growing microorganisms on Earth. They double their mass in a matter of hours and can be grown all year round. Algae farming does not require agricultural land or clean water. Desert land and brackish or ocean water can be used. This means that algae production does not compete with food crops for these resources. If you have the resources which most countries have, you can grow your own fuel. Algae farms are installed adjacent to power plants. The selected algae strains are not genetically modified and only species that do not accumulate heavy metals or other harmful substances are being selected. There is no need for internal modifications to the host facility and operations are not disrupted. CO2 emissions are fed into the algae farm. We call CO2 pollution, algae call it gourmet food. The algae consume a large portion of the emitted CO2 and the host power plant receives valuable CO2 credits. Carbon dioxide emissions are transformed from being a huge waste problem into a profit center. The algae reproduce at an incredible rate during the day and every night a large portion of the crop is harvested. The algae are dried in a unique process that utilizes the excess heat from the power plant. The dried algae are suitable for a wide variety of fuel and feed applications. While the oil portion of the algae is a feedstock for biodiesel, green diesel and jet fuel production, the protein meal is an excellent feed source. So what have we got? Sustainable feed, renewable fuel, a whole cycle that maintains a net positive CO2 balance, which means CO2 credits. So if you look at the three major challenges that the humankind is facing today, it's clean air, sustainable feed, and renewable fuel. Algae are a platform that addresses all of the above in a viable way. This process is currently demonstrated and evaluated by the US National Energy Technology Lab at a 1,000 megawatt power plant in Arizona. The implications of the technology in terms of CO2 mitigation, economical viability, domestic fuel and jet fuel production and the creation of thousands of new green colour jobs is currently being evaluated by world experts. We're the first team that actually made it happen. Partnering with Arizona's largest electric utility, APS, to build and operate the pilot project gives it real credibility. This state-of-the-art facility tests all units of operations before a full-scale field deployment. The commitment here is to make it happen. Until today, we found the oil, stuck in a straw and drained it. But just as humankind progressed from hunter-gatherers to farmers, we're going through a similar evolutionary phase today. Algae biofuels will provide independence and security, as well as a stable option to the fluctuating prices of petrofuels. We're starting to grow our own fuel. We're transforming from consumer into cultivators of energy. It's a new era, the post-oil era. The question of what will we do about our addiction to foreign oil? We have to make a serious nationwide commitment to developing new sources of energy into developing next generation biofuels. I do not believe in environmental charity. 
I only believe in economic viability as a practical way to change the world. And that's the energy revolution. If you have the land, the sun, and the CO2, you could grow your own energy. And that's our freedom, and it's literally green.